What up, YouTube? Back with another dreadlock update. We turned 11 months yesterday. Check them out. I started washing them in a uh, baking powder and water baking soda not baking powder baking soda and water because I kind of like the idea of uh, using making my own shampoo but anyway the first time it's what I do is I'll take a bucket of warm water in the shower from the shower and I'll mix in I don't know half a cup of baking soda or something like that couple of like 10 drops tea tree oil a little bit of salt sea salt and then just soak my dreads in them for like five minutes or something like that and it like it's a really like deep clean I don't know the first time I did it the water after I, after I did it was just freaking nasty so like it really really made them clean before they weren't very they weren't really that clean and I washed them I wasn't the greatest on keeping up with washing them, but I at least tried to wash them once a week, once every two weeks tops. But uh, maybe the shampoo, I used a uh, Jamaican mango and lime shampoo, so maybe the shampoo I was using leave, was leaving residue or something like that. Or maybe I wasn't washing it out good enough. I don't know, but that really freaking worked really, really well, and then they just felt so clean and nice afterwards, so that's how I decided that I wash them now and I wash them once or once a week or so and then I'll just let them soak in there for about five minutes so they're doing kick ass I really like to do that because it's a really really cheap shampoo <laughs> uh, I started doing some maintenance on my on my roots before I would pretty much just let them do their own thing and when my my new growth would grow out and it would like it would stick together but it wouldn't shrink up and stay fat so it kind of like my dreads would thin out a little bit I don't know if I can find it I kind of fixed them a little like that one see how it's fat at the end and then it kind of thins out a little bit down there well they're all kind of like that so what I started doing is they're pretty much all done now that I can show you what I do well, it's kind of decent. So I'll take it, and then I'll go in between these two fingers, about halfway, go like an I don't know, an inch or so above my head, and just rub it, and rub it, and rub it, and rub it. And after about I don't know three or four minutes, it really starts to knot up and become like a baby dread right there. So that that really works for me, and it, it'll, I think it'll keep them fat, the same thickness all the way down. Show you guys the back real quick. You guys can see that. How long they're getting? go down all the way down almost to the end of my beard now my beard's a little shorter than it regularly is but almost down to the end almost long enough to tie back I'd say maybe another inch or so of growth maybe inch and a half guide for growth. I wrapped that one at, I can't remember how long, it's probably been like a month and a half, two months, something like that. But I wrapped it right at the root. Not so much has grown since then. Once again, that was two dreads that I decided to wrap together. I really like that one. Put another one. 
one here. So yeah, that's them. Leave comments. Let me know what you think. Hit that subscribe button over there, one of those ways. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, I just well, I would really like to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I have like uh, I don't know, like 63 or something like that, and that's fucking kick ass. Before I started my dreads, I didn't have any subscribers. Well, maybe I might have had one. But you guys are badass. You guys always leave comments and shit in my videos. I appreciate it very much. So uh, yeah, thank you.